I am Dina, and this is my friend Renee Warren. We are here at the Wren Gallery in Los Angeles, and so excited. The first thing I said when I walked into the gallery, full stop, was, is it wrong if I want to lick things? So um, she was responsive and was like, no, you can buy it, and then you can then lick Then you can yours. lick it all you want. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been in the downtown LA scene? Ooh, uh, I've been here for 12 years, 11 okay. years, around there, okay. <laughs> over a decade. Um, I originally am from Seattle, and I moved out to LA and uh, got a job in Beverly Hills. Didn't really know the area. I was like, I want a loft. Let's try downtown. There's lofts mm -hmm. downtown. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then kind Which of found kind of myself. A brave move. It was well, at the time. People in Beverly Hills think it's a brave move. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at the time, it was pretty daring, and um, and I think that. You know, it was just an amazing artist community here. I found, I landed in the right place. There's creatives of all sorts in downtown. You've got your musicians and people in the film industry that are doing all kinds of great, you know, graphics and sound and lighting and, and you know, art department. And then and then there's the painters um, and the expressionists. So it's it's it was an amazing place to move to and, and to work in this industry because this, this is where all the artists are, are centered right now, in my opinion, in Los Angeles. We've got a ton of them here, which is great. So tell me about the art walk things yeah. that happen. Okay. So I remember there was brewery art walk, is mm -hmm. that still a thing? And what else is going on? And what should those of us that want to be cool and yeah. hip and go to things that are cool and hip and experience things, what's, what's sure. the next new thing? Well, the next new thing, I, I've just opened, um, oh, I, well, I'll tell you, downtown has had an art walk running every single month for the last 12 years. And it's gone through all kinds of ebbs and flows incarnations. of incarnations, <laughs> you know, of what it is. And when it started, it was something that, you know, there was all these vacant buildings everywhere and you could come and see these huge paintings and, and pieces represented directly by the artists um, and see great music and, and people walking around on stilts and all kinds of crazy mm -hmm. performers, you know. Um, As one does. Yeah. Uh, then it got really crowded and all these food trucks came in and different things happened where it kind of lost some of the artistic vibe and became more of a really big social scene. And street fair. Uh, street fair. And now the 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 performance arts and the and the um, you know the artists being able to put set up outside and, and represent themselves is coming back a little bit and that's something um, I'm also working on bringing back here in front of the galleries. We've got this beautiful courtyard here. Um, so next month it'll always be on the second Thursday of the month. Uh, we'll be hosting you know artists, uh, fashion designers, jewelry designers, anything made in LA, handcrafted, and um, of oh, course wow. the artists as well, you know, we'll all be right here for you to enjoy. And, and then, you know, there's plenty of galleries surrounding us as well. So it's just a, like a hop, skip and a jump to get to any of these uh, amazing galleries that are downtown right from here. So that's, yeah. I'm in the know and now I'm helping everyone yeah. else be in the know. And now I know <laughs> where I'm going to be the second Thursday of every month. Second Thursday in the evening, like five to 10, we'll okay. be here partying. It'll be okay. great. <laughs> so as a gallery owner, and yeah. we will absolutely tour the gallery a little bit. Um, yeah. I, I, I don't know how you have all of these different artists in this space yeah. and it we were talking about staging earlier how people can't see something i don't know that i have the vision to be able to get all of these different artists in, in the room. same space and it looks this great and it's appealing and it's yeah. also fairsies for everybody yeah <laughs> that's a technical Fairzies. term by the way <laughs> fairsies um but it's it so can you just give me a little window into how this process yeah. is for that um I like to represent art that I think is is representative of like the urban culture of downtown, especially, but just Los Angeles in general. We're just I represent a lot of LA artists um, and and just you know their expression of what we're doing right now is, is what I like to to show. I guess their expression of uh, humanity and what they're experiencing. And so in this particular show, um, we had a local furniture designer design these beautiful chairs. Yeah and um, they're these great sculptural pieces and we gave them to different artists to paint their interpretation of it. And um, mm -hmm. each of these artists are doing things in their own way to represent the city in, in their life, I guess you could say. So for instance, Rob Grad, who um, we're gonna be showing in mm -hmm. Miami this year during Art Basel at the Scope Fair, he is a composer, music, music composer, as well as an artist, and it's, in his pieces, he's doing layer upon layer of like painting, photography, it's and amazing. building up a composition, just like you would build up a musical score, but he's it's expressing amazing. it in his work. Um, and they're using these crazy big bold lines and street art spray paint styles, you know, mixing it with the photography. And, and downtown is just this crazy mix of like new and old styles and everything, mm -hmm. just people coming from all over the world. And it's, it's 
it's a great little tie-in in a way that he expresses that in the art, or at least that's how I interpret it. Yeah. You know, everybody's going to take their own interpretation from it. Um, so that's, you know, that's one way that we can bring it together. And then you have these beautiful Japanese style pieces uh, from J.W. Pippin and, you know, Little Tokyo is a big part of downtown mm -hmm. and he's, he's pulling, you know, whiskey barrels from old, right. and then there's <laughs> you like know, a from the brewery. Like, yeah. Wow. Fantastic. <laughs> a little mind blowing, um, a little bit. I'm right? trying to wrap my head around how it yeah. all goes, but amazing. We've got Claire Foster's taking found wood that he finds littered around the city and assembling it together and making it something beautiful again of just these old found things that are trash on the street to anyone else. And so um, it's just really interesting. They somehow they work together. I don't I don't know how to say how they do it. But she's saying she's magical. It just <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's the city life. It's this vibrant, you know. Exp urban expression and mm -hmm. I think that's why they all work even though they're all very different styles yeah so we had a fantastic time together today and I want to encourage everyone to come down to the Wren Gallery I'm gonna shoot it over to you give them all the details all right thank you we can uh, you can find us right here in downtown LA in the fashion district um, we're at 743 Santee Street and the website is www.wrengallery.com that's mm -hmm. R-E-N gallery that's our Instagram, that's our Facebook. <laughs> and uh, we have a great monthly art festival right in front of the gallery here, here on the Art Walk called I Art You DTLA. I Art You. Yeah. I Art You. I Art You. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>